it has been 80 years and yet the grievous past comes revolving back back as upon these very ends of this coin everyone i say everyone ends with one side of the coin but possibility ensures that one gets a share of both but in my life there was no second side even then one sector remains unchanged the apex this is the apex on which the coin rotates and because of which the coin is destined to fall this is simply a moment the moment around which life revolves and the moment that sunders it they usually approach like a punch a splash or at length a disorientating earthquake that unfortunately the horror and chill were at their peaks making my sensibilities so when the deafening screaming began Although I knew the event that the walls wheel, my mind felt ease in looking inside and revealing the truth. But in that awful moment, it didn't matter. The window was absolutely stuffed, with which it confined my vision, as it seemed equivalent to a map of cyclones. The cyclone map suddenly made my anger mingle with the pervading clouds of frustration, and with a handful of hope, I dropped away, crying for answers. Even after all this effort. what badly i could see was absolute darkness with a hint of few deep blue silhouettes and then things began to appear that was it this was the time when my life turned on a dime with a wrong rotation and fell into the abyss of unforgettable years slumber technically termed as coma but to think it all began due to our usual petty quarrels is quite difficult to conjure the kind of insult you've given to your sister for which i might have just beaten you up but but i guess this is the kind of punishment which might just straighten you up but i want no more discussion about this you may leave now but <coughs> mom i said leave
your neighbors now i i heard what happened it was kind of too loud he always does that never ever listen to me and this time he canceled my school trip for which i have been planning for months are yaar so you are upset upon a trip even i am not going i wanted to go but because of my sister i can't i don't believe this she comes nicely to dad with a complaint box mine and then yeah hooray my friends go away and i'm freaking in prison in my own house waving them goodbye i feel like choking her who is she to even complain you know what man these kind of things have happened to me as well but it wasn't my sister it was a guy who saw me smoking he went and complained to my dad don't ask what my dad did but what i did next was to take the kid's case back but that wasn't the right thing because he went to my dad again and complained but just like taking his case hitting your sister choking her would make no difference because these kind of people their habit of complaining never finishes doing something like this in haste is going to worsen your situation there's n- there will be no step up so you didn't do anything to the boy then i'm not the kind of guy who let go so easily the other day i saw him showing off with his remote control car saying that he got it from new york or something when I, when he was not looking i sneaked there took his car crushed it with a stone broke into halves and kept it where it was and that day he cried jo bhi ho i felt good so basically you attacked the his weakness exactly thanks them what for your advice because now i'm going to do something much sim- uh, similar oh so you do know her weakness what is it teasing you it's something much simpler tell me then i might just help you in fulfilling your wish she's very um she's prone to get affected a bit by actually anything what do you mean meaning you know for example my dad keeps her away from horror movies or sad movies because oh okay okay she'll get frightened or something yep but a bit too intensively so you want to scare her how i know exactly how are not aware of the previous tenant come on now are you even going to tell me what happened to him fine then let me start with his description never used to drink mm, smoking i don't know he was very friendly at least to me and i never saw him angry will you even tell me what happened okay fine i'll tell you what the investigators thought of the whole scene not what i saw to avoid confusion it's over over what look 
at you. You've lost hope in yourself. No one can even live with you. You're a loser. Bankruptcy has killed the person I loved. I think you have said this a thousand times. That's it. I'm leaving. No, you cannot leave. I won't. I'm leaving. Get out of here, you swine! situation right now stomach cancer second stage and as a younger sister i have to be with him say so going back to america so why are we coming i mean the uncles in the back because the tickets are booked and i need to leave fast when are you leaving tomorrow morning but wait what about all the shifting when are you coming back see the shifting is postponed When I come home, I need something to sleep on, right? And there are enough furniture here for you both. And for all your food, I will talk to Sara. Okay, but when are you coming back? Actually, I don't know. It may take a while. But if it extends too much, I shall start with the shifting. And one more thing. I'm sorry about that. I scolded you yesterday. You know how psychologically weak your sister is. If I wouldn't have done that, you know how she might have reacted. You may leave now. I've got very less time now. And James, remember, be good to your sister. Today can be simply termed as the most miserable day for the events that occurred sequentially kept worsening. It all started this morning when the guy from the school came by uninvited. We didn't pay much attention to the sound. It was obvious that it was ringing from inside the house, and that the story was so intense and at its optimum, such distractions are very avoidable. And so, Rukman's narrative resumed.
Anderson! Mr. Anderson! Are you there? Are you okay? Mr. Anderson! Are you alright? Rebecca? The story was quite admirable, admirable in its narrative and plot, but not quite something to believe upon or digest that easily. Surely, I knew he was simply trying to scare me. Scare me? Why would he do that? There were too many questions bubbling that time, mostly for making him look like a fool and to ascertain any proof for the story's regeneration into a trustable incident. But then, mom called. Then? Then what? 911? Yes, mom. Why? Fine, I'm coming. Um, I need to go. Uh, it's urgent. Okay? Bye. Hey, yeah, yeah, bye. The fact that in the story or presumably incident, the murder took place in our house and moreover that the suicide was committed in my room this mere thought that connected my room and a suicide was like someone pouring cold water upon me in winter. Because after the pouring cold remains, fever gulps the body. But a more demoralizing and practical truth awaited my entrance. Mom was leaving. <laughs> <laughs>